Okay, so, you know, if I go, you know, negative self-talk, um, <clears throat> let's say I've gone into an interview and, um, and uh, they say, look, we're gonna, um, you're rubbish, you're not suitable for the job. And they probably didn't say that. They probably say, on this occasion, um, thank you for attending the interview and uh but we're going to pass <laughs> and uh, and um uh, uh, with with that kind of situation the negative self talk can come in which i think is very understandable uh especially if you want what what's on offer or you take it as a thing of worth whatever they're telling you or whatever the job means or the money means or the people telling you it means or the need for validation means so in that situation um a few things to bear in mind are you before you had the interview are you is is were you feeling in fit spiritual condition and were you free of all fear uh, illnesses and feeling good in which case it just means that there's some temporary belief systems you need to cancel there's not but if you were it might mean that you need to clear up any physical ailments or any feelings associated with those ailments or or you might be at a lower level of consciousness due to life events and you need to clear it up spiritually, either through counseling beliefs, of course, and miracles, feeling the feelings out related to those things or any other spiritual mechanism you use to tra uh, transcend those. Uh, and because your perception, your negative self-talk is a function of your spiritual connection. So the more spiritually disconnected you are, the more negative your perception. So you might have this thing of like feeling like really, really happy going into an interview, feeling healthy and happy going into an interview, the boss says, sorry, you're just totally the wrong candidate, but thanks for attending, please leave. So you, you go out and then suddenly you're feeling a lot of fear and your head's going, I'm shit and no one ever is gonna hire me and I'm gonna die a homeless tramp. So um, if you go in there, now if you're in good spiritual condition, you'll just uh, cancel that idea and, uh, and then uh, you'll be feeling happy and you've forgotten it. If you're not, if it was brings up a lot of emotion. You see, the feelings are more important with the negative self-talk. Now, if you're already feeling happy, you don't get negative self-talk because you're spiritually connected to the divine within. But if, it, if you've got suddenly feelings coming up and negative self-talk, it means there's a, a lot of belief systems and there was a lot of repressed feelings or emotions under the hood. And so those emotions come out, whether it's fear or negativity, and then the, the negative self-talk. So, you know, if you start praying and meditating, uh, you, you start going up the levels of consciousness. So if you're first, when you're in fear and anxiety, your, your thoughts will be, I'm shit, I'm shit, I'm shit. If you do a bit of spiritual work and connect to the love of God within, then the talk will go to, I'm not that bad, actually. I'm, I'm uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's going to be okay. And if you're really connected to God, you've totally forgotten the, the, the interview. So those are climbing up the levels of consciousness because the problem is never out there. The problem is the internal feelings, thoughts, and and the perception that comes from disconnection from uh, from that love and peace and light within. So I'll press the stop.